Yeah, to be honest, guys, I caught this ball. It didn't attract nearly enough kids to my apartment building. It's like an Epsteinian body language. <laughs> Why did he just show off the gunt? And it was so large that it like punctured his internal organs and he died. The animal I have become. I think so they have sort of a hammerhead shark type thing going on. All right, so EDP445 is a creator that obviously all of you guys know, probably one of the most infamous gooners on all of YouTube. Uh, he's been around for a long time, and I don't know about you, but yes. when I was in high school, I thought he was like the funniest guy of all time. He I thought he was really absolutely hilarious. And recently we found out that he's apparently doing content with Boogie2988. They're doing some kind of interview documentary together. And uh, I believe Boogie's summation of his character was, he is a however he is funny. Yes. Which I would agree, I would basically I would, agree with that I sentiment. I would kind of say that's perfectly summed up. He had trouble getting a job, he was fired at a at his job from, I think it was Subway, which is ironic considering Jared was there. So maybe the, the ghost of Jared compelled him to apply there. But anyway. The juices were flowing. They were. Jared from jail, he was like, he stole my whole f flow. Beat for beat. EDP and Boogie are having some sort of a collab, so I figured with him, just kind of look at some of his highlights because Boogie, uh, f***ing old EDP has a lot of, you know, viral content that is now archived because you can't access it. And uh, I'm actually, I have two of them pulled up that I want to watch, and then we're going to go to this archive page. I'm going to let you pick out some okay. you to watch. But first thing is, White people stop shooting up schools. They're finally talking about the issues that matter. Why do, why do we keep doing it? I can't stop. I, I can't. Personally, I can't stop. Listen up, white boy, because you're about to learn some shit, all right? Let's go. Yo, white motherfuckers. White boy. Present. White people in general. Hi. Family. Huge ass favor, okay? Okay. Um, Anything you need to do. No sure. Anything for you. To do me and everybody in the United States of goddamn gotcha. favor, okay? What, what is it? Uh... Stop shooting up schools. Stop shooting up schools simply because my future girlfriend could be in there. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. literally his wow. reasoning. Wow. Literally, I just I just dissected that him is... in one moment. His problem with shooting up schools is that he wants to f them. Yeah, he doesn't because if they're all dead, then he doesn't want to. I mean, <laughs> he's not a necrophile. He's not a sick. Yeah, he's fuck. not a sick person. He's not a disgusting. He's not gonna freak. He's dead. Obviously. No, no, also, no, no. I mean, look. I mean. Can I I don't know, he's asking a lot. He is asking a lot. Like, I mean, can we really? I mean, it's kind of like... I mean, in between making YouTube videos, what else am I supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, f dude, like, are we not even allowed to have fun anymore? Shooting up schools simply because you don't know how to take a f***ing ass whooping and you're too much of a little scared-ass to actually learn how to f fight and whoop that mother ass, you know what I mean? I think, I think he's very right. I would say so, but I also want to just quickly provide a counter-argument to suggest that, like, in some ways, the solution that he's countering does kind of eliminate any chance of a further ass-whooping. I don't believe the deceased are capable of lunchtime ass-whippings. That's true, and probably at that school, people are going to be afraid to bully someone after that. They could create another toxic male masculinity event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the news is referring to school shootings as toxic masculinity events now, and I think that's valid. Teachers, principals, staff, special ed, you know what I mean? Special <laughs> ed? Has there ever been, like, a special at school. Special ed. <laughs> Teachers, staffs, special ed. Does he mean this, like, the students? I think he's saying listen up to everyone, so he doesn't want any, any school He doesn't students. want anyone left out. Everyone is included in this message. He's all inclusive. Yes. But I gotta say, like, is the special ed class, like, are they really, I feel like they're the least risky. I mean, that's what you think, but they're, they're the most bullied. Ooh. Most, most traumatized kid at the school. What do you mm. expect him to do? I, I, are they allowed to get, like, a, like, a, uh, uh, firearms license? Is that, is well, it? children aren't, typically. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> typically, <laughs> kids aren't allowed to <laughs> own a gun legally. And frankly, if you're a parent of a disabled child, you have all the more reason to own a firearm because they're not going to be able to fend off the libtard intruders that are coming to your home at 3 a.m. They're just going to be sitting there. No, dude, the Democrats are coming. So you need to have a gun. You know what they're actually going to be doing is like, yo, Turkey Tom just uploaded. We should watch it. <laughs> That's true. That's what they'll be saying. That's true. I love you guys. There's okay. Shout out. Die because you're too much of a f to learn how to f Fight. You know what I mean? I like how he licks his lips. Have you noticed that? I, I have noticed that. He's like, is he? Is our lip? Our lips super dry. You know what I mean? What? what is, <laughs> it's so quick. It's like <laughs> well, he, he does a sort of cl clean sweep. He's like. He gets everything. Yeah, it's, it's no like spot he, he, untouched. Yeah, literally, it's like a power wash. He gets every strip. It is. I don't. I don't. Why does he do that though? What is the reasoning? And how is he able to do it without like missing a beat? Like in the space he's supposed to be breathing. Yeah. I was at work the other day, right? Mm -hmm. And you had this mother satanic gothic emo looking bitch came in there, right? And she's all like, Okay. Oh my God! Another I'm listening. Shooting like how horrific! I'm like, was that mother? White, I bet he was white. And she was all like, yep, he he was white. I'm like, of course the mother was white. <laughs> he likes it real quick. That one was more of a, that was a more... Maybe it's every time he says like an anti, he expresses an anti-white view, he has to lick his lips mm -hmm. to protect himself from Hyperborean invaders. But I noticed this one was more of like a, like a quick... 
this that's sort of a because the last one was more of like a yeah. this one's like a this one was definitely more of an instinctual one i wonder if we put them all together there would be some kind of hidden message oh he's he's yeah he's communicating in morse code gotcha he's actually saying if you are a kid pop film name on instagram it's like an epsteinian body language thing. it is it is i didn't even have to turn on the mother tv i didn't even have to go on the internet he did it again. He hit it again. Why does he keep licking himself? <laughs> he's very feline. He does. He is. He sort. Of, he sort of has a cat energy to him. Some people say that some people are puppy coated. Mm -hmm. I think he's kitten coated. He's a little kitten, and that's the way you need to look at him. He's okay. Little he's kitten. not some dangerous mm -hmm. evil guy, Judeon. No. Okay. Roasting your boy. What are you doing, dude? One of the greatest black legends on YouTube. You're gonna roast him, dude. That's frankly sounds racist. It does. Mexicans. Blacks, they ain't gonna do no stupid mother like this. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This, this feels so fed up. Like, way to appropriate our culture with the pit vipers and talk about this at the same time. But, like, the audacity for him to wear the pit vipers, which is objectively white culture, it's like Oakley's, right? And complain about white people is, is rich because, all, like, if I was wearing a shiesty and complaining about gang violence, like, come on. He may as well be wearing a natural selection shirt while complaining about this. Like, there's just no point. I can't wear, like, a hype beast Rick and Morty shirt while complaining about rap culture or something. No. I'm Columbine and start lighting motherfuckers up like this is a world trade. Does he think 9-11 was a school shooting? <laughs> I don't know what he thinks. What did he, is, it, is it like a lying thing? Like what? what is this? Is it a nervous tick? Gothic ass emo motherfuckers getting their ass beaten shit. Why does the camera move with his head too? Are we going to brush past that he said lighten N-words up like the World Trade Center? No one got lit up. Everyone died. It didn't even happen. Okay. Sorry. Lighting, lighting N-words up like the World Trade. He didn't even say center. He just go World Trade. The World Trade. <laughs> the World Trade. He's, he's talking about the stock market. Yeah, he's just yeah. talking about the stock market. He's like, my stocks are going to the moon in the same way he's that like, these children are going to heaven. Yeah. Me personally, I'm like this, my n okay? This is no bullshit. If the situation is that bad, you know what I mean? And a mother just has to get ice. The mother has to die. The, the bitch that's with you. He's like, all right, if you have to kill someone, I'm going to tell you how to do it. I think it's funny. He's going to say, like, don't be bitch, man. I'm going to teach you how to kill someone. For him, it's really simple. Just sit on them. You're Pause. really going to kill a perfectly good child when you could date them? <laughs> yeah. Where we see tragedy, he sees lost opportunity. <laughs> this mother just has to die. There's no other alternative. I mean, he's seeing exactly what the white people he's complaining about are seeing. However, he just finds a more EDP-like method to do it. Yes. He's sort of a glass half full type guy. <laughs> yeah. I would describe him that way. All right. Cool, the motherfucker has to die. Fuck it. Wait till the motherfucker comes out of school. Take the gun. Bow! Right there in that motherfucker's face. Put his ass in the motherfucking dirt. Yeah, you see, that's that's the that's the difference. What he's actually highlighting here is just a, is just a difference on, on like the races and the culture. Is that like white people? We just don't wait. Like we're just Adderall no. ADHD. We, we just, just get don't. we just get upset. We have a low attention span. Yeah. Killing one person is simply not enough entertainment we're for just, us. We're just TikTok brain, and we've been trained from infancy through Call of Duty propaganda to just go for the kill streaks. We got to get that nuke. We got to go. Ever since 2009, end. we've been trying to relive no Russian to no avail. We, <laughs> yeah. If you think about it, he has a very harm reductionist philosophy. Mm -hmm. Like he think he thinks practically. He thinks okay, if you gotta kill someone, get the guy who wronged you. Don't right. get everyone around him. Don't get you know all these random girls. I mean, right. he's got a very practical Washington approach. I would say okay. he's a pragmatist. But but ultimately, like I, I can't follow this advice because that would be cultural appropriation. And frankly, if you kill one, okay, let's say you, mm -hmm. okay, as a white guy, you're being bullied by a black guy. You 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 take that one guy out. No, that's what's everyone gonna think? Yeah, what's everyone on the news gonna think? Oh, racist white yeah. boy. Okay, racist. You but go. When you, but when the whole class goes down with you, they're gonna think oh he listen to Marilyn Manson. Certainly being racist is far worse than being a mass murderer. I don't want to, I don't want to die with people thinking I had a racist bone in my body. But don't take everybody with your motherfucker. <laughs> That's literally what we just said. I like the idea of like a prospective school shooter seeing this and being like, you know, I mean, I guess yeah, he's right. He is right. He has a point. Like, do I need to waste that money on the ammo? I, that could, that could go to my bank account in jail so I can buy ramen noodles and the knockoff Game Boy to play Mega Man all day while I think about ending my own life. Like, frankly, he's got a point. I think it's interesting though, because he's, he's calling people <coughs> who kill instead of fight made while literally two seconds ago telling us to kill. Yeah. Unlike the rounds we fired today, his points are certainly not hollow. Back to the whole e emo ass gothic scene. Okay, yeah, I'll go back. Okay, sh on the last bastion that we have being emo. Like literally, literally, we talked about this the other day. Like, there's nothing else we have at this point. Yeah, we. Have Everything else that we've made just kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, we got My Chemical Romance. Give us that. Well, yeah, we have country music, I suppose. But got us moments, but it's just, it's not the same. It's not as raw and emotional and uh, expressive and groundbreaking as when I was a young boy. DDP trying to touch me and now. Now I'm f gay. Oh, my homie knows her. I'm not gonna mention her mother f name. You know, she dressed like a mother f scarecrow. You feel me, mother f 
she look like a oh, motherfucker. Oh, Shade's coming off for this. Sherman. She got motherfucking mascara all flared the fuck out and shit. She look like Miss Rayless from fucking Prairie Vista Middle. He says it, dude. He says it so much. It's, every it's, word. Every word is that or like you feel me. Well, he's emotional. He's trying to get his point across. Yeah. He can say it. Hair off, flamingo the fuck out and shit. Like a goddamn scarecrow is saying, what the fuck cracking? Let's make some pancakes on top of her head. You feel me? <laughs> What's he talking about? I don't understand. Do you make pancakes on scarecrows? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't. Actually, I need to run that back so I can get the I'm reference. I'm really not getting that one. Goddamn scarecrow is saying, what the fuck cracking? Let's make some pancakes on top of her head. That like just actually does not make sense. Is it because her hair like has a lot of volume, like because it goes out a lot? But in what in what context does any hairstyle re resemble a frying pan? Yeah, I don't know. Imagine somebody corrects us. They're like, oh, this is what he's talking about. We click it, and their hair is a literal frying pan. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Their hair literally has a handle. Yeah, <laughs> like a giant black surface. Yeah. destroyed. That's an emo motherfucker. You know, this whole time I'm thinking like emo girls is like hot topic, spirit Halloween, but it's actually women who have a uh, have a cranial deformity to where the, the top of their scalp is literally a frying pan. Their frontal lobe extends 12 inches beyond yeah. their nose. Yeah. So I'm They have sort of a hammerhead shark type thing going on. Mm -hmm. Listen to this okay. This is how the crazy ass satanic music started. Listen to this Last night, I saw my baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She had a beautiful smile. She was beautiful to me. <laughs> And I sliced that motherfucker head off. <laughs> he walks out. He's like, "This is uh, your McDonald's order, ready for pickup." <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, kind of insane. Yeah, you, I like his impression of like metal. I guess it's pretty good. For, it's pretty it's, good. It's something. But it's like, like I was. That, I mean, it's kind of real. Like I was sad about a girl. Oh, like that's that. I is have it. a double cheeseburger with fries. Sir, I have a number nine large. I have a. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps going. <laughs> We went to some sweet, beautiful ass harmony, Selena, Quintanilla type sh to some f Martian Thrasher. F I'm lighting the stage on fire, and I'm gonna jump in that mother f like with no regret type. I think this is all coming from the from the perspective of a man so large he's not able to properly mosh. He he lost the tutorial of the fitness grand pacer test, and I think since that day he's realized his cardio abilities do not allow him to be the type of guy to be running in a mosh pit. Wow, like uh, the animal I have become. I think we need, I think we need, I think we need to send him our Spotify playlist. We certainly know he hasn't enjoyed one rock song in the last 28 years of his life. So right. why doesn't he just try it out for well, once? Most of the music I assume he'd be hearing is like the ABCs. Yeah, like we, we, we all, wheels on the bus star. type thing. Yeah, Baba Black Sheep. Baba Child, come over here. You're only 10. I like beer. When I see a kid, I get hard. It's so hard not to f kids. I knew that motherfucker was white. He's like reminiscing now. He's like. Reminiscing on his prediction, he's like, yeah. as soon as I hear about a school shooting, I'm so glad to know that he's white. Yeah, this because you know he's like obviously super into sports, so it's like he would have had like a six leg parlay on like the shooters yeah, race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he would have had, he would have been on like like DraftKings or Underdog placing like a six leg parlay, <laughs> like the gun it was used. How many people died? How many injured? Yeah, how many died? How many injured? Race and weapon use. A 50 50 for the 5x hit. Was there a murder suicide? Does the manifesto mention 4chan and or Mr. Beast? <laughs> Questions. When was the last time you seen a black motherfucker do some shit like this? <laughs> lick, lick your lips? I don't know. Right now? A hundred times in this video? I gotta stop shooting up schools, my nigga. You afraid to take a fucking ass whooping, my nigga, alright? Alright, all right, so that's the first one. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, I think he had some interesting solutions. Um, maybe his ideas aren't fully fleshed out, but I could see him on a Destiny panel within a matter of weeks. <laughs> Notice, didn't appeal to any logical fallacies. <laughs> Not once. No ad hominems. I think he has some good points. Mm -hmm. I think I think he's a solid guy to listen to. And uh, from what I understand, we have another video to watch from him. Now, this video is titled Grocery Shopping with EDP445. This one's a deep cut. This is sort of a Sam Sulek vlog type thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he was doing a bit of a, a, bit of a round bulk look at, at this him, point bro. in time. Look at, look at that physique. This is what we got so far. Whoa! Whoa! Immediately, just like four, four liters of. We got like three, two liters of Coke Zero, a giant container of Coke Zero. Four. Why doesn't he Gatorade so much? He's trying to make his piss like the clearest possible piss well, he, no, west of the Mississippi. He needs he needs the electrolytes so his lips are properly moisturized to reduce the amount of lip little cleaning methods. Yes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, at least you caught what it. What was that random sound effect? Little, little rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, dog, Probably kidnapped from one of his victims. Dude. Is that this grapefruit juice? Into level, Ooh, how much liquid does he drink in the day? Is he just constantly drinking? 
Soda? Wants kids, but not kidding. This is like a form of self-harm. Oh, he needs the ball. Nah, just put that back. And that one too. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I got this ball. It didn't attract nearly enough kids to my apartment building. So we're gonna be putting that back and leaving. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got cookies. Are these eggs or tomatoes? We have a ton of, looks like some apples or something. Some kind of fruit. <laughs> some kind of health food. Looks like apples. A cake. That's a cake down there right there. Nice. I want a cake for one man. I love the idea of this. Just like this guy's friend. Like, hey, I have this friend who's like fat as f Let's I'm film gonna... him going grocery shopping. <laughs> That's literally... He's right. It's good content. Let's zero in on what this beast vortex is on a daily basis. I, I think he's right. Like, I understand. <laughs> why, wait, why did he just show off the gunt? This is called the gunt. Uh, there's a the, basically what happens when you're really fat is your fat sort of concaves in the middle at the bottom and it forms what's called a gunt. It's like an ass or like a but it's like a you know it's like a dirty hole. Okay. That gets in there and the the, the fat sort of forms like a, a shape like this. Mm. If you were to pull it apart, there's just stomach under there. There's nothing there. Okay. But it just sort of hangs like tits. Why is he looking like that? Why is he doing like sort of a he looks like an angry autistic child. He's trying to accentuate his hunter eyes. Um, huge shout out to all my thug on Uvu. I got Big Vol Daddy, Angie, Uncle D Nasty, who? Sparty. What is Uvu? And... Is it like Patreon? I don't know who, who the f*** else he's it is. He's listing out all um, of his sexual partners. So he's watching a video of someone f***ing a horse. Yeah, so this is a, I assume it's the infamous video called Mr. Hands, which is this guy who would, he was like a, a, a into bestiality. He was a zoophile. And the story with him is that he took a horse's d and it was so large that it like punctured his internal organs and he died. And the guy's name was Mr. Hands. That's unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. I, I feel bad. No, no risk without reward though. <laughs> I mean, you could say he got a reward. <laughs> His N-word is the horse. Yeah, I was, I was literally about to say that. That's, his, that's... The horse is his boy. That's a by a horse. So the victim is also Why are there sirens? What, are the sirens for him or the, for the horse? You're asking all the right questions. Yeah. At the, at, at, the, at the guy's final moments, the, the sirens were coming in. Yeah. Why is he like Loki hyped? Like, I like the way he's the way he's parsing the scream is like oh ho ho it, it gives it sort of like, yeah is it, like he's an enthusiasm enjoying it. it's more it's like a roller coaster yeah yeah it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's like rough but he's having a good time <laughs> it's like Drake just dropped I gotta watch that sh again my n what Whoa. he was like that was disgusting let me see it again the horses was all up in that n ass dog I know you said it three times this horse is sticking his d in a guy's ass thank you I know for thank the fifth you. time this ain't a b it's going it's going to up in I assume the man didn't have. <laughs> well, you never know these days. Hey, I'm just imagining. He, like, accidentally knocks his camera down, and he has a massive boner. It's like, oh, my it. fault. You wouldn't be able to my see fault. it because of the gun, as you That's as true. you previously mentioned. Well, maybe but. he's like parted it over his sort of draping around it. Summarize the video, God Sniper Wolf. Damn. Yeah. Now the horse is about 20 inches long. Right, That's a big ass going on. All right, all right. there's no way this is going to There's one more video. Porta potty sh archived. You already know what's cracking. You already know where I'm at. You well, he he literally just filmed himself shitting. I think so. He literally was just at work. He was like, fire up a video. Let's go. How sick would that be if that was like our job? Dude. If our job is just anytime we have a normal bodily function, we get to film ourselves doing it. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, it's me. I'm pissing again. Y'all know what the f is up. I it today because, uh... <sighs> Bro, I just had some uh, some fried chicken from Chester's, right? And uh, shocking, that shit will fuck you up like no bull. <sighs> Trust me, I'm feeling it right now. Like it is like something fierce. You know what I mean? Fierce, uh, fierce. His shit are so radioactive. You can't look at them without eye protection. Yeah, they're so disgusting. Yeah, this was this was not this was not cosmetic. This was actually protective. <laughs> it's completely practical, much like his approach <laughs> to school shooting. Yeah, well, well, the 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 odor has sort of an acidic property on the pH scale, and we we wouldn't want to da damage we his wouldn't. eyes. Outside is ninety eight. Inside is about hundred and fourteen. You just hear it hit the water in the background. You can see, I'm just like sweating all over. It's like oh, you can you can probably if you pause the video enough, you can probably make out his or something. I just hope that I can get this done with and uh, roll on out, you feel me? So he, he literally did a video hyping himself up for the sh He's, he's like, man, I hope I make it through this one. This is awesome. Every time he sh is like, a, it's a very dark situation for him. He doesn't know he's going to make it out the other side. What the f is cracking with it all, you ho ass no life trolling f***ing back sh talking to me mother down there. That's definitely us, dude. He kind of got us with that yeah. one. In the comment section, this your boy, eat that b 445 coming at you mother with another guy video. As you guys can see down by the mother title. But to be honest, like, I, I don't know if, if I really can like personally feel insulted by a man who records himself prior to kidding and announces it to the world. That's the worst thing he did. <laughs> or or touches kids. No, that was, that was... Who that? 
EDP. That's me, man. What's up, bro? Look at this nasty ass. And then EDP went to jail and everyone lived. And I wish. And that's how <laughs> this video ends. Guys, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. What do you think about EDP? Do you think any of his old stuff was funny at all? He was hilarious. He, well, he was, he was really funny. funny. I, I won't lie. It was actually he was, he was like the funniest <laughs> file on YouTube. He really I was. Say. I gotta say. As a, for how many there are, not many of them are that funny. No. So if you're gonna, well, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs>